God, it's so bright. Do you see anything? <clears throat> okay, let's, um... Yeah, DM note, Kyler. If what this elf has said is true, then someone is down there, and if they're down there, they are drowning. There is no, not enough time to go back to town for help. Dwarves and water don't mix, you know that. I'll just check it out and I'll be right back. Yeah, I know. <sighs> if I'm not back uh, soon. I don't know, keep the fucking sword. Tyler, you dive in, the salt's stinging at some of your leftover injuries, though most were healed overnight. It's hard to see through the, the water, but you can detect bits, small schools of animals, of fish. Along the surface, directly ahead of you, a ways out, you can see something bobbing in the water. <clears throat> From here, it looks like some kind of debris. Just gonna get my ass fucking killed. From here, you can tell it looks like a barrel, but the barrel is cracked. <sighs> Fuck. If anyone is here, they are likely underneath. Diving down, your vision becomes clearer, the surface of the water not impeding it. And you can see, floating, seemingly unconscious, is a dwarf, encircling them is a shark. You realize immediately that coming here unarmed and alone is likely a death sentence. Oh, I tried. There isn't. There is enough time to return to shore, but not enough time to return to town. You can hear splashes ahead of you coming from the shoreline. Someone has come into the water with you. Oh, God. Really? Come on. He's dragging you. You look like a dog trying to swim. Fluid movements, kick legs. <laughs> Don't need a doggy paddle everywhere.
Come on. What happened? Is he there? Did you find him? I don't think your friends are gonna make it. There's a shark there as well. There's not much we can do from please, the shore. Please, I'm... But there has to be something. I... Please, I beg of you. I, I, I will... Please, a shark, because... my man. I... But... I... I'll do it. I'll do anything if you could just help him, please. It's a shark in water. I... There's not much I can do. We're wounded as it is. I'm sorry. If we could get back to town, maybe there's a time to get a boat or something, but... I had my dagger too. Even with the two of us, it's a shark. I barely made the swim out there. Rolling. <laughs> Kyler, with a wisdom roll of an 18, a thought pops into your mind. A shark in water for a lone swimmer is deadly. A, sh a surefire way to get yourself killed. But a shark against two people, splitting its focus, who are armed nonetheless, and are live. Both of them. It might be possible. It's a risk, and it's your choice. But it is not impossible. Wanna fight a shark? <laughs> Probably the stupidest thing I've ever fucking done. Come on, we'll make our grave together. Fucking dwarves. So fucking stupid. I'll distract the shark, you grab the guy, okay? I'm the strongest swimmer.
Get him up to the barrel. And use the barrel as a kickboard and get back to the shore, okay? Good luck. Kyler, you notice the shark has suddenly turned its attention. Lisa moving the dwarf through the water has drawn it, and it is moving in. Amazing. He's gonna go for it, but I can't swim for shit, apparently. <laughs> With an 18, you get a burst of adrenaline, partly from the stinging, and partly because the stinging has caused any of the leftover injuries to numb. And you are able to throw yourself at the shark. With an 18, you actually manage to catch it. It turns to you. He's using his sword to keep distance. attempts to shove through you, but you manage to push it away using your sword to keep distance. Small nicks on its side. You can hear the shark coming at you from below, Kyler. It begins to rush through the water toward you. Rolling. With a 19, you manage to push your sword forward, connecting with the front of its head, and you kick it away. At the same time, Lisa grabs its back end, wrapping her whole body around it. It begins to flail and struggle. Jamming her dagger into the top of its head, she begins to yank it backward, exposing its undersection to you. <laughs> Holding it in place with daggers sunk in repeatedly, one, again and again and again, the shark slowly ceases to move. He's pushing her up. him to show.
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Back room. Back room. We got him to the clinic. Thank you. Sure. Ugh. What's your names, please? We have to thank you. Ugh. I'm Shriek. <laughs> this is Wolf. <coughs> Shriek. I, I, I promise we'll, we'll, we'll make this up to you. Sure. Delgi and Ungi. I said to love I'm grateful. I am. I. You should make your way to the clinic in case you've swallowed too much. Both of you, get it checked out. Uh, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, 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 we'll we'll repay this. Is it or, or, or. Come on. Come on, let's go. Get yourself a drink after everything's done, and I'll see what. Sit down a second. DM note for the both of you. Any of the lingering pain that you may have felt from your injuries has been cleaned out by the salt in the water. Not but mild aches remain. Mostly musculature. From the night before. Cough it up. Yeah. Yeah, it was fucking stupid. <laughs> I never thought I'd ever see you wrestle a shark, though. That was impressive. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell anyone about this, right? Faye would worry and Tizim would worry. This is between you and me. <sighs> Can't believe I just fucking did that. <laughs> That tastes good. Nice and nice and salty. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this morning I went to the bathhouse. I got washed down by two beautiful women. They washed me with soap. They redid my bandages. Now it's all gone. <laughs> good old salt water. Lisa, with a natural 20, you feel something very, very strange. Your throat doesn't hurt. Maybe it's the salt. And the feeling likely won't last, but... You instinctively put your fingers to your gullet. And 
while that briny sensation is in your mouth, your throat doesn't hurt. Not a bad view, though. We spend a life taking lives when an opportunity to save one pops up, I guess, more inclined to take it. That or we're just fucking stupid. It honestly could be either or. Hey, the new dagger held up. Did you... Did you see how easily it got? Yeah. <laughs> It's steel for you, baby. You need to re-oil it, honestly. And make sure no seawater stays there or it will rust like a motherfucker. Just so you're aware. You did great. I didn't think you were going to grapple with it, but hey. <laughs> like I was going to let you fight a shark by yourself. <clears throat> I was just going to, uh, lead it away, but uh, this works too. How are you feeling? Good question. <clears throat> like, uh, from last night, I mean. is a funny place. One of the only places I can sleep soundly. I had the best night's sleep I've had in probably years. Changing. Yeah, this grove seems a lot more, uh, villagey than the last one more people yeah like mother wanted that's good I suppose more attention though When are you all going to Gawain? When the season turns, we'll be out of here. If we can be. I don't want to leave all of you. Such is my path, I guess. Yeah.
let's uh, never do that again. Agreed. Listen, it's not like that road that we went across, the north road's pretty trapped by either the guns or the people. If we're able to go down there, we're not probably going to go too far. If we go far enough, well, we can come down to it. Good fight today, Aegon. Mm. Made me money. Good. Chicken, nice. Do I help? Yeah. Do I find nice lady? Someone who good at talking to ladies. Uh, All right then. Uh, the clinic man uh, always yeah, talking to ladies. I ask him. That, right? Yeah, yeah. He will understand. He writes and appreciate it. 
Thank you. Because, uh, basically finish this book. Sure you could have a moment. If I can borrow you. Oh no, uh, never mind. It's not urgent. You go ahead. You can keep you can keep it. You can keep it. Actually I'll explain it to you in a moment if you need to. Also while you're at it, can you also I'm gonna grab this guy uh, for five noses. looking for love. seconds. Okay, noses. Oh this Lady knows us visited once to talk to your father and yourself. Probably your father. Either way. And uh, you had a, another visitor. Uh, similar to him. Custodian. Interesting. Don't know anything about it. Just letting you know. Thanks. Guardsman. Same price as always. Sure. Ah, there you are. Torty. Remember the list of items that were taken from you? Sure, um, do you want to take a walk and with a drawing me real quick? Possible. I'll be right back, Dredge. Awesome. Yeah. It's quick. Did you I left a messer a with you. That's your cut. Understood. For, uh, Thanks. An order. Add it to the did list. Stop by in the morning? Yes, he did. Do you know where he is or where to send his order oh. to? Because I heard I'm, I'm through the grapevine that there's, um... Well, they weren't... <clears throat> Convinced with my story. For some reason. Yeah, but there isn't much they can do about it. Apparently the guy's plans for further investigation, which people are just doing their jobs. The other thing. <clears throat> uh, I just heard rumors that the Capitano is going to be collecting uh, taxes and whatnot. And I just, you know... Want to make sure things are fair. I, yeah, I know he has. We've drawn the yeah, ire of him and such. So maybe the custodes man would be a bit more open to being around to ensure things I'm gonna are fair. Be, I plan to. My best advice I can give for anyone when they're taxed is to just give them the money as quick as possible. Yeah. And then they will go away. If you do things like Vezrin tried to do, he tried to haggle the tax. He got charged double. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I'm Don't not going to skip taxes or anything. I, I mean, I'm, you know, I work here. I just, you know, if people can mm -hmm. be there to ensure things are as fair as possible, I would appreciate that. That's all. That's the plan. Very good. I'll, uh, Did I ever give you my name? Uh, Amir? Correct? No. No, Amir is... He was the one doing the investigating. Got it. You all look very fucking the similar. The one in green. I don't mean to be rude, but... Yeah. Yeah. Fenton. Fenton. Right. Thank you, Fenton. And I also... Apologize for what happened in there. I tried to stop as much as I could, but I was... One man, and there was four or three others in the... I understand. ...entire building. You guys are in a Could only be in one room at once. Yeah. No, I understand it. Thank you, though. I just want things to be fair for everyone. That's all. True justice. That tax isn't justice. I know. We know that. We know. So. You have a good day. When you get that list... I'll get it to you, yeah. Get it to me as quick as possible. Yep. Sooner, the more likely I can get you the items. Appreciate it. <sighs> that thing I was going to do at noon, I think it's been postponed as the god presiding over it is not here. I see. It's one of those days, I guess. <clears throat> I have four iron breastplates and nothing to do with them because the person that ordered them didn't show up to take their order. Well, so give them a couple of days. I'm sitting and there so that we don't have anyone. Melt it down. <laughs> that's the thing. I don't want. It'd actually be better for me just to fucking sell them if they don't come for them. Mm. <clears throat> but, um, 
I don't want the guards having yet another excuse to knock that door down for what the fourth time in a week. Yeah, three like times so far. <laughs> yeah, I heard rumours that taxes are going to be uh, rolling around again very soon. So I'll try to be here oh, so they don't them. break the fucking door down. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be honest, I may have to actually do something about this, seeing as this is property I bought, property that has a deed that they continually ransack under orders, may have to kick up some shit in the noble sector of things and... That's the other guest I was trying to warn you of. Got it. Thank Speak you. Them. I'm going to steal money from you again. Like, yeah, I, I managed to get what I needed to. Um, just spoke to one of the custodies men, and I'm trying to ensure these taxes are going to be fair by embedding as many of the custodies men in them as possible, but that's outside of my thing. Mm. So if possible, see what you can do. But again, I know you're probably already under a lot of scrutiny. So, play it safe. I am, but I'm trying to cause as much chaos as I can <laughs> while playing the part. Hmm. Found out some interesting things, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, found out some very interesting things. Heard in passing yesterday that apparently they might station a guard to watch over the blacksmithy. Just in passing. Capitano? Every once in a while. From my understanding, possibly. Great. But I heard this yesterday, so fuck if I know if that's even true. That's fine. We're not doing anything wrong, so... We're playing it safe. Yeah, well... Also getting antsy. A Capitano man. Yeah, I bet. <clears throat> He's about to fucking rub us blind. Mm. Well, what he takes, you take back in equal. Yes, oh, you. and, um, Fenton said that if you have a list of everything that's taken, to hand it to me so I can give it to him. Right. Make it look official and whatnot. Yeah, I just finished talking to him, actually. Hopefully we can get some mm. justice on that. I'll have to talk with Tazim to see what's missing out of his area. <laughs> If I remember correctly, they really liked that fucking plant. A plant, and of all goddamn I, things. It was, it's strange. <laughs> I don't know how that's supposed to help them in their investigation. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty brazen, okay, though. Fine, no. I'll give them that. <sighs> There's something else that I'm not remembering. Is there anything else you wanted to bring up to me? No, just to see if you could, you know, embed some people if possible. That's all. Well... Fenton and Stefano are ranking officers in the guard. Stefano helped me cover it up. What happened at Cosetto. Right. <clears throat> so he's a man you can trust. If you say so. Fenton, I'm a little... ...iffy on. I don't know him as well, but... Well, let's make our way to the bathhouse. I haven't shown anyone my hand yet. Nice. Don't. But they are pushing these investigations. They really want to get their hands on Tizzy. And everyone else that was involved. Yeah, if they you. find a single lick of anything that doesn't line up, they're going to pounce on it. You've seen it. Yeah. I'm giving my story straight. Thankfully, Tizzy's like a fucking ghost. <laughs> no one can find him. Good. It's probably for better, honestly. Yeah. <sighs> oh, thanks for the heads up. There are other men in the ranks that don't agree with the Capitano. Officers. I'll keep measling my way around them. You let Tazim know that. Good. Who yeah. else I can pull into the fold? We're gonna... <laughs> it's gonna come to a head one day, so... The more people you get on side, the better. Yeah, well. 
Here to come find out from Sergeant Sanders. Apparently there's Imperial diplomats coming in eight to nine days. Really? Reinforcements. By ship? From what I could tell, possibly. Hmm. It wasn't exactly... <clears throat> fully in depth with it, but it apparently it presides to the death of the Major and the Embassy. Yeah. If those ships dock, it's going to be an issue for everyone. Guards and people. Yeah. One thing at a time, though. Keep it up. <laughs> One thing at a time. And you as well. I can't believe I just tried to put this book on my desk. <laughs> Fuck me, I'm tired. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm fucking tired. <laughs> Ahh... <sighs> <sighs> 
<clears throat> Today was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Where's my fucking book? <sighs> Alright, I gotta... I gotta fucking... <sighs> get a snack. <laughs> I'm fucking hungry. Yeah, the Mesa. <sighs> fuck no. And fuck Dredge. <laughs> no. <sighs> okay. No, I don't want to eat the sodium. Please. Yeah, go away, sodium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My steak bar! <laughs> what am I eating? It's like a dried beef kind of jerky steak bar thing. Like a protein bar. <clears throat> So fucking good. <laughs> it's like 80 calories for the whole bar. And it's like just enough for me not to be hungry. Throughout the rest of the session. Beef jerky, basically. It's very in tune with, with FT. Eating like, you know, a dried meat. I feel like I need to eat bread, dried meats, and cheese. And I'd be like, <laughs> you know. Beef bar. I used to have these when I was in cadets. Uh, they were part of like our ration packs. Kyler, as you recline on the roof of mm. your house, reading, trying to relax, it's been a long day. It's been a long couple of days. It has been, Daddy Lauren. And relaxing and reading. And trying to just recuperate. It's hard to stay focused on the tome. You find your mind wandering a little bit. And in this kind of wandering, you find yourself experiencing some kind of lucid dream. You find yourself running along the beach, something common, something you've always done, or at least have come to do. Morning jog, like you always have, it clears your head, invigorates your body, circulates your blood, and you can feel it through every vein and muscle and sinew. It's nice. But as your mind drifts, just as usual, you feel a little ache and a burning in your lungs from the exertion. You're standing in sand, but you're no longer on the beach. Sand, sand, sand everywhere that stretches out in front of you. And a 
a hot, dry, <clears throat> sirocco wind whips through your white hair as you find yourself clad in armor that's different than the leathers you wear now, gripping the talon, drenched in blood. There is no ocean now, but an ocean of sand that you stand upon, and the waves that lap upon your senses are the cries of the wounded and dying. An army surges around you. The banner of the griffin's bloody beak raised high and dotted along the battlefield among squads strewn in red, gold, and drenched in crimson. You scramble atop one of the dunes to survey it all, and the tapestry of a massacre lays unfurled across the desert unlike anything you've ever seen. Red, gold, drenched in crimson all. Your view widens and deepens and deepens and deepens evermore. Astagon, Gwen, and Leodore, red, gold, and drenched in crimson all. You cry out to stop, command the army to halt, but the voice is lost somewhere in the maelstrom of vengeance, only to look down among the sea of bodies that sends your blood cold and your vision spinning. Bannermen surge forward, raising their shields up, raising their swords up, vengeance on their lips and massacre burning in their minds. You see as they haul your corpse up, 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 up upon their shoulders, and the army gives a broody, brutal, bloody cry that shakes the foundations of the imperial city itself until all that is left is ruin. In the midst of this ruin, your mind drifts back to the book to notice to the comfort of the couch you recline on and the sea breeze a nice salt air that invigorates your senses back to the mind in the present a dream all but a memory now <clears throat> Oof. Oof. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I got tingles. <clears throat> you ready to take some notes, Ricky? Today, I did some stupid shit. Not gonna go into the details, though. Because I know Olena reads these. <clears throat> Last night, I had my first taste of mounted, mounted combat. It was difficult to put everything in practice. I'm sure eventually I will be as good as Tizim. I'm seeing the importance and advantages of horseback. For one, I can see a lot more because I am higher up, and for two, I can get 
to where I need to go quickly. <clears throat> the fighting style suits me. I e short engagements on the flank. I would like to practice more. <clears throat> After the fight, I slept and had the deepest night sleep I have had in months. <clears throat> Call it exhaustion or something else. It was a strange way to wake up. <sighs> I've been thinking about friends we will have to leave behind when we go home. My dedication de to the cause is unwavering, though I will miss them a lot, I'm sure. The sky is blue, the clouds are windy today. Kyla. probably the most I've ever written. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely improving. I could very easily fall asleep right here. <clears throat> like in and out of character. sleep act I like doing this in the middle of the day because it lets me charge my uh, hands a bit. I need to get those um, wrist charges. With the full immersion power nap. Oh god. <sighs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's dangerous. <laughs> uh. 
interested in the Discord. Yeah, if you guys haven't already seen the Discord, um, that's where we where the 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 guys post um, all of Kyla's journal entries, and it's the best place to you know keep up to date with me. Also, you guys should uh, check out my new YouTube channel. I do like gameplay stuff. I, I edit the videos a lot more, and I put a lot of effort into it. <clears throat> and while I'm shilling, um, I upload these like vods to pay uh, to YouTube, like cut up and stuff. Um, but like recently, YouTube has just decided that any video I upload, fractured thrones related. Uh, they, they're limiting the ads played on it, which means I don't get as much of a ad revenue from it, for whatever reason. I've requested manual review and such, but they say it's not suitable for ads. So, <clears throat> if you are willing and wanting, um, supporting my Patreon definitely helps me do this full-time. Again, not necessary, but very much appreciated. Okay, I'll stop shilling now. And seeing me brain rot over Planet Zoo, that's terrible. <clears throat> kind of makes you wonder, like... Logically speaking, if it's like this chill here... Somewhere else in the world, there has to be, like, shit going on, you know? The juxtaposition. Yeah, I do appreciate you guys watching. Don't will it into existence. I mean, not everyone is sitting like I am just chilling, surely. Some people have, like, plot stuff. <laughs> it has to be. Maybe some mirror and stuff. Since he has been around. Maybe a bit of Ladia. Hmm. You'd be off chilling in RP, then someone's getting death rolled. Exactly, right? <clears throat> My friend made me start watching I've been enjoying it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Everyone in the project works really hard, and it shows. Especially the DMs recently. Apparently today they've had three DMs in total. When normally they have like five or six. They are stretched super thin. <clears throat> Sounds like a Merc mission, maybe. <clears throat> the the a like the area of the 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 DM pause thing is quite big. Jesus Christ. It's around three kilometers. I think it's um, yeah, it's it's something like that. It's the map is huge. Hey. 
think the map is like nine kilometers by nine kilometers or something like that. It's massive. <clears throat> Has Kyla eaten today? Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe we should. I'm just so comfortable here right now. <laughs> I fuck. I'm gonna fall asleep if I'm not careful. Because I forgot they're gonna make something from. I think Kyla denied them coming in to cook because Olana would have just been like, what the fuck are you doing? Just gotta do things. I don't like wandering around for like no reason, but I guess sitting here is worse. I want to teach you to cook and hire a brothel work to do it. Yeah, I'll learn it. It's called delegation. I'm being a leader. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, Jack. I'm going out the back door. You ain't getting your sword back. He doesn't want people to know he killed the shark. Because <laughs> they get back to Tazim, he's going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? Sneaking into my forge, are we, little mouse? Jeez. I forget how quiet you are. Rah! Rah! <laughs> you fucking kicked me in the back of the head, you <laughs> asshole. Uh, Where's my sword? Yeah, I got it, yeah. <laughs> you paid for it, right? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. No worries. <clears throat> oh, by the by, Markle told me that you guys are going to get hurt first for the taxes. So great. <laughs> probably want to be ready for that. Amazing. Yeah, I'm ready. <clears throat> oh, also, also some. Old man came running by. Apparently, he asked for some nails. We had nails done in 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 weeks. So if this is the order, I think it is. I'm going to drown this person. <laughs> Guess he keeps coming by asking for if his nails are done. No. 
That's the thing. People put in these no. big orders and then they just don't show up again. <laughs> I have stuff from day 25 of this month. Hmm? Oh my god. Well, I, did anybody pay for it? Or are you still waiting to receive payment? I was paid. It's the only reason I'm not cracking the shit about it, because... My god. Yeah. I was gonna say, if they didn't pay you, melt it back down. Reuse it. Yeah. I mean, fuck any of that armor. Okay, there we go. I'm just going through the sheet and... Uh, you know, I just... Yeah, It's tough yeah, being a no, bill expert. How you doing, Dredge? Ready to lip, uh, rip a man limb from limb. What's going on, buddy? I'm not gonna talk about it. Got something else to talk about. Okay. Lost the dagger in this recent match. Need a new one. We are out of iron right now. <laughs> we can't make anything. <clears throat> Even repairs are spotty. We don't have pretty much anything to spare. You want to borrow mine? I use them as throwing knives. You're not getting it back. Fair. Well, when we get some iron, I will make <laughs> you some actual throwing knives. How about that? More weighted, more likely to hit. How many could you make with how much? I think I can make two per iron ingot. Let me double check. It's not too bad. Throwing knives. Yeah, we get two throwing knives per iron ingot. <clears throat> um, I could also... I know you've been throwing that uh, spear a lot. If I get just some uh, another large haft, I can make you two javelins instead. It's not a spear, it's a pillum. Oh. Got it from the bowyer. Well, there's always it's that. It's meant for... It's... Special made. It's meant for throwing. I see. Hmm. How many throwing knives could you make if I gave you both of these? Are those daggers? Mm. No. 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 <laughs> you know, there's still a He's 30 back. copper bounty on that man. <laughs> Thirty copper bounty. <laughs> You're not gonna get him for me. <laughs> oh, damn it. Um, half materials back, so that's two. Um, that'd be four throwing knives in total if I use both of them. If I melt down one, I can get you the two. <clears throat> Not them both down. I have a third. Yeah. Four throwing knives it is. Damn. Um, since you've brought me the material, I can just ask to charge for um, work, which is meant to be 50, but we'll just say like right. 25, since this isn't too much work for me. Sound good? All right. Sounds good. All right, I'll get started on that now. Oh, thank you, Dredge. How long will it take? By tomorrow morning. Good. Alright. Throwing knife for edge. Doing okay, Harry? Yeah. You're just kinda hanging around. I can do that too. 
Let me just finish writing this in and then I'll uh, get on that. <clears throat> uh, sword. Got it. It'll be uh, 15 copper when I'm done. Is it steel or iron? Iron. Ah, yeah, 15 copper. <clears throat> yes, it does look quite blunt. <laughs> You've been, uh, what, chopping trees or something with this? No, really. It's good just to have. Not as much. Oh, I hate when they're running around. <clears throat> Do I even want to know? Ah, uh, Venora and Wolf and Tang. Always means something is amiss. I literally never see them walking anywhere. They're always <laughs> They're busy people, I guess. Alchemists and such. No, you fucking don't! No, you fucking don't! <laughs> Disappeared in the fucking bush. Here's your sword. Um, we can have a chat later. Uh, later or now? Cause I'm free now. I'll go to the back. Sure. Because of you know. Yeah. I didn't get him. What are you, you me or something? Say what? What did he owe you money or something? No, it's the 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 pig fucker, the guy that looks around the corner and goes. That's what he looks like? I never got a look at him before. Yeah, he, he apparently has a 30 copper bounty on him, so... I gotta duck in and deal with something inside. I'll be out in a bit. <clears throat> Intruder! What's on your mind? My home was broken into. Your home was broken into? By whom? Busted door open. Everything was rifled through. I had a medium shield inside my chest that was also broken into and it was still there. Hmm. You think it was the guards? No, they would have taken it. <clears throat> you have a working this theory? Be somebody looking for something. Mm. What do you have that would warrant someone busting down your door? The, uh. You know, the reason why I wear the hood. Right. Always. Because there was somebody looking for me. Mm hmm. Apparently, somebody by the name of Mira was driving around Dwight and helping him out. When I 
made a friendly chat with them to figure out their motives, what they actually were. They were apparently looking for their brother, who was a farmhand. Hmm. I know this brother, and they can be found very easily at the farm. Cover up, then. I believe that's the one that's looking for me. Interesting. And what I assume that they were trying to look for is some sort of a connection with me. Right, but you're smart enough that you didn't have anything like that lying around, right? The only sort of connection is this necklace that I always have on me. Good. My concern is that they were talking a lot with Dwight, and Dwight seemed uneasy 